The Great Society is a place where every child can find knowledge to enrich his mind and to enlarge his talents. It means exploring new techniques of teaching to find new ways to stimulate the love of learning and the capacity for creation. Poverty must not be a bar to learning, and learning must offer an escape from poverty. You don't have to travel very far from your home to see the things that we see. And you don't have to leave the city, and you don't have to leave the state, and you don't have to leave the country, because there is poverty and need right here. I was losing my apartment. Um, I ended up calling shelters, and we got accepted, we got in. And of course, at that time, it's like you've lost everything, your hope, your self-esteem. Um, I felt bad because my kids didn't have their usual routine. Homeless children lag behind in education, no fault of their own, moving from place to place, just the instability that exists in their lives. These families are in a state of crisis. They're in a state of transition. If you don't know where you're going to live tomorrow or how you're going to feed your kids tomorrow, it's real hard to sit down and help them with their math homework. Yeah, I was struggling. As far as well, the math part, yeah, that was that was a bad that was the bad course. I used to always get A's and B's, and then once I became homeless, I I went down, got B's and C's, and I started to get an F one year, and that really devastated me. Most kids have some predictability, some routines in their life. To the degree that you can give them some sense of routine and some sense of expectation about what they need to do in order to be successful. They have some sense that life is different than maybe it was before. Ronnie's grades started going down a little bit when we became homeless because it uh, messed with his, his routine, his daily routine that we had. Not being able to sleep in his own bed, uh, not being able to sit down and do our homework together like we used to, uh, it was a big impact. We go and tutor these kids, we spend an hour with them after school, and you know in that 60 minutes you made a difference. The child that I was working with that night on tutoring, at first he was a little solemn and sort of kept to himself, had his hand shoved in his pocket, but by the end of the evening we were elbow to elbow reading a book to each other, which you know really felt good to me that I was so quickly accepted by this group of kids. And also, I think it, you know, he felt good about having you know, an, an adult male that he could feel comfortable around and relate to and um, you know, read a book with. I think it's really important that these kids see men in a positive light and see men caring about them and connecting to them. The children here at the shelter develop bonds with the tutors that come here. The tutors know them, know what they um, are struggling with and are able to really assist them and they celebrate with them um, which is something that a lot of our children don't have they don't have a lot of successes in school and they don't have a lot of celebrations so that one-on-one -on -one contact is so very important for the children um, and School and Wills is able to really provide that. You know a one-on-one -on -one mentor can make all the difference in the world they love it. They just cannot wait. Is it five? Is it five yet? Running down the stairs. It's something that they really enjoy and really look forward to. School on Wheels helps that young person have a light go off where they say, yes, I can do that, or yes, I want to try to do that. School on Wheels, they always try to make you feel special. And they were always coming to me saying how good my kids were, how smart my kids were. In School on Wheels, they treat us with respect. They they were very kind. I was getting into Vance pre-algebra in seventh grade, and um, it really helped me out a lot because I was confused about pre-algebra. You know, they have the same dreams, wishes, hopes that any other kid has. From that perspective, they're, they're just another child that just needs some parental or adult attention and guidance and direction. I don't know what school to go to, but I know I'm gonna go to an art school and then I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try to be a cartoonist, so. I think it's an inspiration for kids 
in a family that really needs help. I want to be a marine biologist. That's always been my biggest dream. All of us choose to spend our time in certain ways that we think might make, it, make a difference. It's abundantly clear that school on wheels makes a difference. Thank you.